What's up guys, this is the Sound Alchemist and first of all, I want to apologize for the quality in this video because I'm in my car. Now the reason why I'm in my car is because I just got done watching Rogue One for the second time and I've just got a bunch of ideas going on. Yes, this is a Warhammer 40k video, but the reason why I'm talking about Star Wars is simply because I am pitting the two against one another. Who would win? the universe of Star Wars, or the universe of Warhammer 40k. Now this has been going on through the internet for a while now, but any, any, any time I come across like a thread or something, somebody talking about this on YouTube, it usually comes down to 40k being OP. They're overpowered, it's everybody's that much more powerful in this universe compared to Star Wars. So, to even the odds, I thought, Let's do Star Wars Universe against the Imperium of Man. Now, in my opinion, that's a little bit more balanced. So we could see, you know, there won't be any chaos, no Tyranids, no Tau, no Necrons, none of that. So it's just going to be basically the Space Marines, their Primarch, the Emperor, and the Imperium of Man's soldiers, the Imperial Guard. I guess you could talk about the Inquisition and the... Uh, you know, assassins and the Grey Knights, but I'm gonna be one of, I wanna mainly focus on the Space Marines, the Imperial Guard, and like the Primarchs. So, that being said, let's take a look at one of the Jedi, really powerful Jedi by the name of Mace Windu. You can see here, with a, with a lightsaber, he's a pretty formidable foe. You see all the droids, and you see that it's just one man against all of them. Now, here, he doesn't have his uh, lightsaber with him, and yet he's still kicking ass all over the place. Now, what would be an even match for him? Because I feel like he's stronger, in, well, not just him in general, but Jedi are stronger than just regular space marines. But up to, are they up to the level of Primarchs? Uh, ch chapter Masters, maybe, but I still think a Jedi against a Chapter Master, a well-trained Jedi would win. But I'm not sure, like, are they up to Primarch level? Because in some instances, it says that Primarchs move so fast they can dodge bullets and all that. And uh, as you can see, Mace is using, like, the Force to, you know, enhance his hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. And he's moving, he's moving pretty fast, as you can see when he jumps and does all this stuff. So that being said, who's a good match for a Jedi? Space Marines, Primarchs, and why? Now I want you guys to comment below as to that another question i had for you guys is what's stronger the warp or the force now the force is a very uh i feel like it's similar to the warp but it's different uh warp has always had these negatives negatives attached to it like there's demons in it um psychers are not you know looked up upon they're kind of like shunned and bullied even in the like Space Marine ranks, because not not everybody likes psychers. But the Force, it is, you know, it's almost like a prayer, you know, let the Force be with you, may the Force be with you. It's always seen as like a positive thing. It gives hope. It gives you that, you know, the power to do anything, really, if you think about it. Um, it was actually it was shown in Rogue One when. Spoiler alert! So if you haven't seen the movie, don't don't listen to this part. When uh, Donnie Yen's character, the blind guy, he's going to you know, pull the lever and he's like, the force is with me, I am with the force. And he manages to walk all the way unharmed to where he needs to. Now, can the warp aid somebody to that extent? Or is the warp a whole entirely different, you know, giant in its, in a sense? Again, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. Would you rather have the force or would you rather be empowered by the warp? And now the last question I have for you guys is, in an all-out battle, who would win? Now when I say all-out battle, I mean you've got your space battles, you've got your psychers going at it, you've got the ground forces. So that being said, are the droids and the clone army, would that be enough to overcome space marines? Because I feel like 
the Imperial Guard, any old guardsman, is equivalent to a stormtrooper. Uh, because, yeah, they both basically have the same weapons. They're like laser weapons. Now, a Space Marine is heavily armored. More, I, I'd say it's better armored than a stormtrooper. And stormtroopers, as we all know, they have horrible aim. So it's like, what would, what's the next best thing to come close to a uh, Space Marine? Is it like those super armored battle droids? Because I think they're too clunky and cumbersome. They're just there for... They're basically like the Necrons, quote unquote, of uh, Space... Or not Space Marines, of uh, Star Wars. So, again, who would win the aerial battles? You'd have like Storm Ravens going against TIE Fighters and X-Wings. An AT-AT going up against a, a Warhound Titan. Or an Imperial Knight for that matter. Like, who, who would win an all-out all out battle? Now I'm asking you guys this, and I want to know the answer, but this is what the what this video is about. So I want you guys to also ask One Mind Syndicate any question you have that you can pit to the Star Wars universe against Warhammer 40k. And whatever question gets the most likes, gets the most uh, comments or replies on it, we will answer it in a greater wall. So that way we can have another video and keep the discussion going as onto this age-old question who would win between these two awesome universes so i'm sorry i went on a little mini rant sorry i'm recording in the car and not elsewhere <laughs> but uh, i really wanted to get this off my chest i want to let you guys know uh, all the enthusiasm i'm feeling for these two universes i mean darth vader going up against the emperor is that is that a good uh good a good matchup for these two guys or would it be better to have like Dante go against Vader? Again, let me know your opinions, guys. And that's all I have for you today, guys. Keep on speculating. Comment any question you guys have. Comment your answers to the questions I gave you guys. And we'll see where this goes. As always, guys, I am the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate. And I am signing out. Thank <laughs> you.